Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasa Allah, Koholoyimla, Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweshai, Bahasim Rechach Kadash, the honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. Just want to say, Thuwad us for the Akim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweshai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahshana Nawa, I'm just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying to this edifying by the Spirit. You know, um, it's the same subject, but we got to keep on um, chopping it up on it, man. Um, this is uh, World News in the Newsweek. Russia issues ominous warning to countries preparing for war, right? So it's ongoing talks of wars, rumors of wars, man. Nuclear war at that. So hey, we, we're living in exciting times. We're getting closer and closer to the coming of our Lord. And hey, it's, it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep and to be prepared for these things that are coming to pass, man. Um, and not sleep. You don't want to be asleep. You want to constantly be, you know, um, aware of the time period that we're in. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me get this quick scripture real fast in the Apocrypha. I know these scriptures come out all the time, but, you know, we have to assume that there are people that haven't heard these scriptures so you know we have to continue on just going into them that's our job man you know it's the same song same song second edges 9 and 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. But it's, you know, the focus is to measure the time diligently. You know, that's that's a commandment from the Lord. And how do you 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 uh, measure the times? You measure the times by the scriptures. The scripture, the scriptures are like a, um, a ruler, like a, a measuring tool. You know, you can see what the what the prophecies are saying. And you see the news, we can calculate and put together like, okay, we're in this time period. Now, do we know down to the millisecond? Do we know down to the minute? No, we don't. But, you know, you don't want to be one of those foolish virgins. You know, you want to be one of those wise virgins, man, that's waiting, you know, for the coming of our Lord, man, and not get caught off guard. So let's go into the article a little bit. Um, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, if I'm pronouncing that right has issued a warning, a warning to countries preparing for a potential war with Russia. Speaking at a press briefing at the United Nations headquarters in New York City Wednesday, he commented on the calls by many Western nations that have anticipated a potential conflict with Russia in the coming years, saying that he hopes that those who warn about the need to prepare for war with Russia still have the, in the instinct of self-preservation. <laughs> So, hey, this guy's like, hey, these people are serious, man. It says he appeared to be referencing warnings from several NATO members that the growing tension surrounding the war in Ukraine could boil over into other parts of Eastern Europe. President Joe Biden has warned that if the U.S. is unable to continue supporting Ukraine's defense against Russia's invasion, Washington and the West risk being pulled into the war with Moscow directly, right? So, as you can clearly see, man, America is falling because they got too much shit going on. You, you spread too thin, man. You're trying to support Ukraine. You're trying to support Taiwan. You're trying to support South Korea. You're trying to support Japan. You're trying to support Israel. And in the meanwhile, you know, your own country is going back and forth with, with, with places like Texas and, and I think 25 other states that, will you know, they, they're basically like, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> You know, we're going to protect our borders and that federal um, um, lawsuit that um, basically Biden has against those states, man. They, they, these people sick of um, um, Joe Biden, or at least the, the red states are. So you, you have the country already split down the middle and here you go. They, they, they're involved with this type of shit. So this is a clear indicator that America is falling and it's, it's, it's no coming back from it, man. Matter of fact, let me get one more in the apocrypha. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7 and it reads there be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy and the tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy 
and Russia, they're, they're enemies of ours too, because they're, they're all Edomites, you know? They're all Edomites. They're all enemies of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're just more rooting for Russia right now because, <laughs> you know, they, they play a huge part in prophecy as so far as the, um, taking out Babylon the Great, which is America, man. And they're all divided because, see, these Edomites hate these Edomites over here, and these Edomites over here hate those Edomites over there when they should be together. They're dying off quicker than they're being born. They're divided as a nation. Matter of fact, because they're a nation of people, they just so happen to be in different continents. But let's get this in the New Testament real quick. Matthew 12 and 25. There's a lot of division. See, even amongst the Americans, because I think it's 25 states here in the Americas that supposedly, um, going, you know, they, 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 they run it with, um, with Texas, man. As far as, um, you know, you know, just pretty much coming up against their own government, so to speak. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? See? So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, from every level, all these European countries, they're all the same people. And you, you would think that they would be all together with a common cause of trying to stay... Um, preserved so to speak because like i said again they're dying off quicker than they're being born <laughs> but they're you know they got all this infighting going on okay um he goes on to say we have no desire no need neither military nor political nor economic to attack anyone anywhere Lob, um he said wednesday according to the report from russia's newspaper pravda the kremlin was previously dismissed concerns has previously dismissed concerns over future conflict with the west including after a report earlier this year by German newspaper, which said that according to the classified document reviewed by the outlet, Berlin was preparing its armed forces for future attack by Moscow. At the time, Russian Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Maria Zaharova compared the predictions to a mighty horoscope. I remember that. Um, it says Germany's Council on Foreign, foreign Relations also predicted in November that NATO should be prepared for a major war with Russia within five to nine years. And we're praying that it doesn't last that long. We're praying y'all go ahead and get it popping this month, this, this week, shit, today. <laughs> Estonia's Foreign Intelligence Service released a report last month that put that timeline at three to five years, adding concerns that Baltic states, a part of the Western Bloc, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are considered the most vulnerable part of NATO by the Kremlin. And, and all these are Edomites talking about fighting against each other. NATO has taken steps to bolster its own defenses in recent months. The alliance announced plans last week for Operation Steadfast Defender 2024, NATO's largest military exercise since the Cold War. The exercise will include 90,000 Allied troops and is stationed to take place in Poland which shares the border with Russia. Drill locations are also set in the Baltic states and other European allies, although NATO did not identify any specific threats that instigated the exercise, right? So you can clearly see this thing is rising, man. Um, a handful of Western allies also united earlier this month to purchase up to a thousand Patriot missiles in an effort to strengthen Europe's air defense systems. And, um, you know, um, that Patriot missile is um, American made. And it's all about money, man. Esau making money hand over fist with these fucking wars, selling them um, military equipment, man. That's all it is about. That's, this is all it is about, man. You you have the military the military complex pretty much running the world, man. And, and you know, of course, the elite. And then we already know that, um, uh, you know, um, that the Lord, he's he's dealing with all these these leaders anyway. But it says 5.6 billion contract was signed by Germany, the Netherlands, Russia, uh, Romania, and Spain, among other countries. And that, that's some, you know, it's all about money, man. But let's let's get this too. Let's go. Uh, was it Proverbs? Yeah, it's Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So we understand that this is all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? It's moving at the, the, the hearts of these men to do what they're doing. 
um, in Proverbs 20 and 24 says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So everything that's going on throughout the earth right now is, is, you know, amongst these leaders, even down to the most minute fly that's flying around somebody's house, man. The Lord is in control of that. So, you know, this is why we shouldn't worry. Um, as a matter of fact, the scripture says that, too. Let's get that in. Um, we can end out here. I don't want to keep the lesson long, but, you know, hey, just a, another update, man. We have to keep the people updated um, as far as to what's going on. Blow that trumpet, warn the flock. You know, whether they hear or forbear, man. And we, we, we're going to blow that trumpet, man. But this is uh, Matthew 24. Start at verse 3. Uh, okay, the apostles and them, the camp just started. Um, Indiana camp. Okay, um, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered, when you you know the the world ignorantly calls on um, the Lord Jesus, but his name is Yahushai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew tongue. Um, the letter J was invented in 1524. That letter J wasn't around when he walked the earth. Neither was English, the, the um the English language. You know he was being called by his Hebrew name, which is Yahushai, and that's very important to know. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which um means um he exists or the existing one. And you have to call on the name of the Father and the Son the proper way to um, get repentance and, and to just have prayers answered in genu general to, um, you know, just to pray. You have to pray to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai. You have to get rid of that, that Jesus crap because it's idolatry. The Lord is not some white, blue, blonde hair, blue eyed white guy, you know. He doesn't look like this picture that they've been portraying for hundreds of years. He, that's an idol, man. You have to get away from that. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because your true nationality is your Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. And the world and, and the Lord is turning the world upside down on behalf of you. This is the reason why all these wars um, are, um, and, and talks of war and, and eventually are going to happen. It's gonna, this place is going to be nuked, man. So you want to repent, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Right? Matthew 24 and 3 again, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Mashiach, or the Messiah, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, we're not troubled by it. We, you know, we're, we're actually praying for these things to come on about. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So, I mean, hey, it's, it's, it's happening, man. It's happening right before our very eyes, man. That's why um, the Lord said to measure thou the time diligently. And since I quoted this other one from Romans, let's get that. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And, and, and A, it's high time to awake out of sleep and to put away all the wickedness, man, and repent to the Father, Yahweh. In the name of his um, son, Yahweh side in these last days, man, because it's about a rap. And if you get caught out there, you don't want no parts of what's coming to this place. You you most definitely want to um, 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 be on the side of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, in these last days, man, and under his protection. So with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.